Good morning, dear students. This is Mr. Munditezi, Assistant Professor in Chemistry at St. Jewel College, Sapodi. All of the students are most welcome in the class of Chemistry BSc first year. <coughs> in previous lectures, we had seen the syllabus recommended for the first and second paper of the chemistry bsc first year and today we will go for the first unit of your syllabus which is included in the in the curriculum of your bsc and uh, that is belonging to the inorganic chemistry so the first unit of inorganic chemistry is periodic table and periodic properties firstly we will see in inorganic chemistry which is very important because if you know the basics of periodic table then you will consider the properties or you may understand the properties so it is important to study the periodic table and periodic properties so this topic will be covered today's like in today's lecture now see what is periodic table what is periodic table the systematic arrangement of the elements according to their properties or atomic numbers is known as periodic table now see as you know you have learned in 12th standard that there are 180 elements that exist in this universe some of them are very rare elements such as last four elements exist for few seconds and exist in micrograms or nanograms so all these elements can be arranged in a systematic way to study their properties and that is this arrangement is known as periodic table and this periodic table is based on various experiments and the postulates proposed by the various scientists so from 17th century the scientists are trying to arrange the elements in a systematic way and many scientists have tried for it some of them are dobrenas triads then newlands octaves and then mendeleev's periodic table these three concepts are important which was which was studied in the 12th standard and based on from these three theories the next theory proposed was proposed by henry mosley and that was based on the a law that is called modern periodic law the mendeleev's periodic table was based on the mendeleev's law which states that the physical and chemical properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic masses this was a statement of mendeleev's periodic law but his theory has or his proper statement has some defects or after some time it was found that the statement was incorrect so mendeleev's periodic table has been denied by the scientist and henry mosley proposed that the properties of the elements are directly proportional to the atomic numbers so the modern periodic law can be stated as the physical and chemical properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic numbers henry mosley carried out a series of experiments and found that there was a direct correlation between the atomic number and the square root of 
frequency absorbed. From spectroscopic studies, he made some observations and proposed the, the modern periodic law that is, the physical and chemical properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic numbers. From this law, the scientist put forward a periodic table and that periodic table is like this. This periodic table includes 18 groups and 7 periods. And all the 118 elements are included in it. See, everything that exists in this universe is made from most of the or some of the elements from the periodic table. Everything that exists in this universe. Because without these elements, anything cannot be formed in this or found in this universe. So, the study of these elements is very important. Although our body or anything, our clothes or uh, books, anything that exists in this, in this universe is made from these elements. For our example, our body is uh, made from carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and then some of the metal elements such as iron, cobalt, zinc, copper, all those. These are very important in our body. So, this was the modern periodic law and the next is long form of the periodic table. The long form of the periodic table is based on the modern periodic law the table is the arrangement of elements in increasing order of their atomic numbers. So, the, periodic, the modern periodic table is present form of the periodic table and it consists of vertical columns that is groups 18 and horizontal rows that is periods 7 periods. So, count here you can see that there are 18 groups and 7 periods. At the bottom you may see the 2 rows and these 2 rows belonging to 5th and 6th period and uh, these are known as lanthanides for the sake of convenience these are placed at the bottom of the periodic table. Okay, In 12th standard you have seen all these things and in this long form of the periodic table we will see the next point and that is groups in the modern periodic table. Now see there are 18 groups in the modern periodic table. The vertical columns in the modern periodic table are known as groups. These groups are numbered from 1 to 18. Each group consists of elements having the same outer shell electron configuration. It means the elements in each group have same configuration as it could be ns1, ns2, ns3, ns4, anything uh, ns, np, nd or n-2f yeah, or electronic configuration any electronic configuration uh, in the same group have same configuration and as you know the configuration is same the properties of the elements are also same. The next is periods in the modern periodic table. As you know that there are 7 periods in the modern periodic table and periods are nothing but the horizontal rows. Periods are nothing but the horizontal rows which are placed horizontally in the modern periodic table. There are 7 periods in the periodic table and these are numbered as 1 to 7 from top to bottom. The first period consists of only 2 elements that is hydrogen and helium while second and third, uh, third period consists of 8 elements and which starts from lithium and ends at uh, neon. Then the fourth period constitutes 18 elements 
and the sixth fifth period also constitute 18 elements the sixth period constitute 32 elements and the seventh period also constitutes 32 elements okay but there is some anomaly the seventh period of the period table has now four new elements and they are neonium moscovium tennessium and organism it means the periodic table starts from hydrogen and ends at organism the ipsc name of organism is an an octium <clears throat> so as you know the first period constitutes only two elements the second period constitutes eight elements uh, second and third then fourth and fifth constitu uh, constitutes 32 elements and uh, the at last the sixth and seventh period constitutes 32 elements then we will see uh, also the long form of the periodic table consists of a separate panel at the bottom it consists of 14 elements of the sixth period called the lanthanides and the 14 elements in the seventh period called actinides as i told you before this that at the bottom of the periodic table the a block has been shown for the sake of convenience uh, now see the a block consists of 14 blocks or 14 parades separate we will see it as the parades <clears throat> in that the first series is of lanthanides which includes 14 elements and the second series is of actinides so lanthanides and actinides are commonly known as a block elements or inner transition elements the next is each period represents the number of shells or energy levels present in an atom of an element it means each period corresponds to principal quantum number of the atom and that period also corresponds to energy level or shell number of that atom so when a new period is arrived at that time <coughs> a new shell is added and the electron enters into new energy level it was all about the long form of the periodic table and as you have seen all the points that are covered in this topic the next point is the cause of periodicity which will be seen in the next lecture thank you